So this is what uh, we are done in our last uh, class. You can, uh, like, uh, if you want, you can add some more properties here. Or like from simple object, and select some rectangle. For this rectangle, you can do some animation. Appearance, enable, select your tag, okay, and lock tag only level. And so like uh, for different level, okay, I want to put different colors, like 0 to 20 some color, 21 to 40 another color, okay. Like this you can say, double click here, and okay. take it to the value directly. Then you can change the background colors here. To the colors you want for that one, you can set up. Okay. So this. So this to get in the unlock because the sun color is shown here. So I'm gonna change this status here value. You can see this color is changing. Okay. Like this also can. Okay. Now, suppose if I want to use a slider from uh, HMI, then you need to write a program here in your PLC again because uh, you cannot directly control I address of PLC. You can access only one address, okay, of internal memory of your PLC. For that, we have to use a word address. So here you can see already one address is there. Okay, another block and is available MW20. Okay, for input and MD34 output. So I create two more tags for MW20 and MD30. I go to the main window here. It's the tags window. For example, uh, low. Desktop IP to input as a integer int. What is the address? MW20, right? So I change the number 20. Partition time, every second. And other address output, so OP like output, which is a real format. So MD millisecond. So this now I go to add screen. I add one more screen here. And I remove this like a okay. and example to okay. okay. Then to operate from HMI, okay. Do we have any slider option here? No, right? So enhance objects. In this we are having slider. You can select a slider. This one option. Double click so you get a property window at the bottom. Here you can set the maximum value to 27648. Okay, for your input range and for which tag 
no input okay so this value will display here if any more changes you want to make like a uh, appearance or design or something like uh, in design if you want to change the level you can change that flow input okay Uh, these are the layout properties which you want to display. Now <clears throat> we are given the tag for this already. Now <clears throat> if you want to use any more option like uh, simple objects, we are having IO field. This also you can use for input. Okay, for entering the input. So select input output only. So which tag? No input. <clears throat> so how many uh, digits you have to use? Like two seven six four eight. Up to two seven six four eight, you can enter the value. So I'm using five nines here. Means five digit value. Okay. And you can set the <clears throat> limits here. Text. Enter. Middle, you can say the font size. Okay, so input. We are given the tag already. Now, in the output, again, you can select uh, some gauge or any display bar. Do that. No. But you can select this IO field also. Okay. Let's save this. And uh, from here, I copy that home button. Control C. Uh, put that in. Okay. Now I save this again. Then go to the welcome window. Change some extra button on there. So for this, in the general, you can change the text. And then you can mention. Now, for this button, what to do? Properties. When you press, it's a display screen. It's screen coming up. Okay. Save this. It's taking the run time. Oh. Lock two. So when I make any changes here, you can see output is coming. The maximum is on six for eight, you could this one. Okay. If you want to enter here, you can also enter the value select there, like twelve thousand something. Okay. Or fifteen. Right, we are getting the result. <clears throat> now, there are some of the properties here. <clears throat> okay, analog values. Okay. So here I add one more screen. Or unlock okay, 
now can i take uh, a slider say so 0 to 100 some value okay and i define one tag like a temporary tag or internal tag i define <coughs> like a then one ID and bring this internal tag okay for temporary purpose and integer tag is here we no need to give any address okay no address is required because we are creating internal tag for learning or checking few more properties okay <coughs> that you can link with uh, external tags also okay by adding this driver now I'll go to another three for this tag slider i give the tag temp form because it is integer that's why it is showing in integer okay now i take a block here take some block <coughs> rectangle or something And then animation for this block we're having some diagonal diagonal movement horizontal movement vertical movement options you want to move this object okay as some vertical or horizontal you can enable that property like the tag and <coughs> some range okay from 0 to 100 okay some range you can set starting position xy position that is your uh, window position okay from where you want to move okay this place and how much you want to move okay that you can set here so for example you can see it is showing that range from here to here it will move okay so how much movement you want that you can select now so 0 to 100 only because first ladder value is only 0 to 100 so okay. there is a home button here <coughs> this window and I take one more block for another example For vertical moment, the time for only zero to hundred. Okay. Mm. I save this. Then from the time, I add one more text here. That is general. And the events when you press this, that is a activate screen. Right and left, save it. Put in the one time. So when I move this slider, you can see objects are moving. So like this, uh, you can create some more animation using movement. Okay. By applying this. Diagonal, uh, different movements are there. Direct uh, movement or we are having vertical or horizontal movements, right? Using these properties, you can move the objects. Okay. <clears throat> so here you can set the visibility also for which tag 
it should be visible okay should be hidden and uh, integer value from 0 to 50 should be hidden okay so like that you can check this values should be hidden or visible Is hidden right so when I move this here after 50, this will be like from 0 to 50, it is hidden. I selected the hidden property, okay. That's what is hidden. So, likewise, if I give some property. Like uh, what is block? It should be visible from zero to fifty. And uh, I'll move this here. This block should be visible. Um, Okay, fifty two hundred is be visible because this will be hidden after fifty and this will come down. Okay, so like this, I can set the properties. It should be hidden. It should be visible from the handle. This is reaching 50. This will get hidden. Like this, you can set the visibility property here. Okay, so these are some of the analog properties which you can practice.